zones 13 and 14 actually water the the garbage to keep the dust down today we're out at a commercial property with an icc2 controller and they've got a few zones that are not working we've got our 360b tempo multimeter out and we're going to start taking ohms readings that's that little omega symbol right there and we're going to put one of the probes doesn't matter which one to the common wire and the other one to each of these zone wires and we're looking for a reading between 20 and 60 and that's a bad reading right there but that might not necessarily be a bad reading that could just be two solenoids connected to the same wire here in the field we'll look at that later i'm going to note zone one being a questionable zone but that's not a problem because that one probably turns on we'll check in a little bit we'll go to two two is 37 we're good three is 41 we're good we'll just keep doing this until i find another bad one and then i'll explain what that means we're good on that one. We're good on that one. We've got continuity on this one, but it's way questionable at 0.8. We'll take a look at zone 9 as well. 10 is good. 11 is open. 12 is open. 13 is good. And 14 is good. It looks like we're uh, going to be looking into zones 1, 9, 11, and 12. Let's go ahead and figure out what's going on with those, and I'm going to use another tool for that. But before I go out and use that other tool, I'm going to map out this property because I don't know where zones 1, 9, 11, and 12 are located anywhere on this property. So I'm going to go through the, the, the controller here. I'm going to turn on each of the zones. And as I turn them on, I'm going to mark them here on Erie plans. This place is a transfer station, so we'll just call it the Pompano. And we're going to start drawing. We're going to hit this little button here that shows us where we are on the map, and boom. There we are at our waste transfer station right here and I'm on the back corner of it and the controller is located right where my blue dot is because that's where I'm standing and boom up oh, we've got the bright line coming by never mind we're gonna give it a name controller and we're gonna type do the irrigation type which is a controller we can put the model or brand here we will we're gonna put an ICC2 and it is a 14 zone controller 14 zone system boom now the controller is located on the map we're going to go and figure out where all of the zones are and i'll show you what this map looks like when i'm finished well we found zone one let's go ahead and mark that on our map it's going to be back here we'll go from here to there there to there we'll confirm our polygon we'll call this actually this is zone two Zone 1 didn't turn on. We're going to have to look into that. All right. We'll go ahead and hit done. Perfect. Now I'm going to go look for the valve that is probably back in, well, right behind me here. And we're going to see if in this box this valve exists. This is, oh, no, there's a valve in here. All right. There's three valves here. I'm going to figure out what these three valves do and whether or not they control this area. But when I do, I'm just going to go ahead and add it by clicking that little circle there confirming a point about where I'm standing. We're gonna call it a valve until I know what it is. Zone valve. We don't know what zone it is, so we're just gonna leave that there for now. There's actually two boxes here. So, actually there's three valves here, so we're gonna place three zone valves right next to each other. And then we'll do another one right here. Zone valve, and done. And now I've got my three valves here, right where I'm standing. Boom, boom, boom. All right, great. Now, I'm going to play with these valves and see which one of them controls this zone so I can identify on here which one of the three valves it is. And here you have it, the completed map on Erie Plans. This is where our controller is located here. We have a junction box right next to it. I have a couple of valves over here, and coincidentally I found valve number 9, which is one of the ones we need to know about. We figured out that we're missing irrigation in this corner of the property, which is probably where zone one is, which is didn't come on. And I'm not sure, I think zone 11 and 12 are also gonna be in that area. One, 11 and 12 are right in this area. We just gotta find the valves. I did find valves while I was searching the property. We got valve number three, 14 and 13 right here. Uh, 13 and 14 are the most important zones to these guys because this is a waste transfer station and zones 13 and 14 actually water the the garbage to keep the dust down they want to make sure those two are running but we're going to get the whole property running as well we've got these valves marked here those valves marked in that corner over there we're going to go walk the property in this corner back here to see if we can find those valves over there just by walking and then i'll pull out the locator if i need to 
to go look for those valves. Now zone number nine, or excuse me, zone number nine here did not work. This blue area from the initial inspection, but I did find the valve. We're gonna do some troubleshooting to figure out why that valve isn't working. It might just be a bad solenoid. We'll figure that out and then we'll also go look for those valves next. We found zone number nine, the valve is right there. The controller's right in front of us. We also needed to identify zone number one, which is this wire right here and zones 11 and 12, which are right here and right here. And then zone number nine, like I was just talking about. Well, there's a NEMA rated box under here. Well, there's a weather. The nine inch one is right. And zone nine is right here. The outdoor weather rated box below it has the rest of the connections in it where it changes from that 14 gauge wire to the 18 gauge multi-strand and then goes over to that junction box over there. Whoever eliminated zones 11 and 12 at least left us a note because these are zones 11 and 12. These go to zones 11 and 12. Well, they go to zones 11 and 12 up here in the controller, but they don't go out into the field. There are only so many wires here. I didn't count them, but I'm going to say about 14 wires here, maybe 13 wires. I'll count them in a second that are going out to the field. So there is nowhere to connect zones 11 and 12. I think I know what happened here. I believe zones 13 and 14 for the trash area got taken over and turned into those two zones there when they used to water an area way down there. That's that missing area on the map over there. And I'm gonna go look for valves over there. I haven't done that yet, but I wanted to start at the point of connection like I always do, see what's going on over here. And clearly these wires aren't going out to the field. Even if I connected my locator to that wire up there for zone 11 or 12, it wouldn't have got me very far. I would have came to right here. Let me do a little bit more investigating to figure out what's going on. I did identify zones one and nine. That's why you see these little loops right here. So I know that these are actually the wire even says it on there. One. And then if they're doing their job right, this one would say nine on it somewhere. But either way, these are the two that I need to be working on. These two that go out into the field to go to nowhere. I'll take a look at that. But it, it, there's chances that this just became a 12 zone system instead of a 14 zone system unless i can figure out what they did over there and maybe run some new wires from the valves that are likely down there all the way to this controller right here all right zone 9 gave us 0.8 at the controller when we were doing an ohms test i've taken the solenoid off of the wires here and we're going to do an ohms test right here on the solenoid directly at the solenoid and i'm doing that because i want to know if the problem is with the solenoid or with the wire and we're gonna rule that out right now. Bingo, that's not supposed to be reading 0.6. I've actually got a brand new solenoid right here next to me and I can show you what a brand new solenoid is supposed to do. 37, this is a Rainbird solenoid. It's on the higher end of the spectrum because there's more coil, more wire inside of that solenoid. Awesome, we'll swap out this solenoid and this zone will work again. All right, I didn't wanna waste time showing you cleaning all the dirt out, but we got the dirt out of our way and now I just gotta get the little solenoid holder, little turn thing, which to get that out, I just rock it back and forth a bunch of times. This one's really stuck on here. I got the backside, that stupid little ring, which is, I say stupid, but it's super helpful to help you unscrew, which I'm putting it back on there right now. Use it as a tool to unscrew the old solenoid until you got it pretty much off. Now I have the system totally off. This isn't a pressurized system. If it was, I would have closed the flow control or shut down the point of connection. We won't be needing this extra bushing. There's already one in the valve. Go ahead and screw in the new solenoid. Use some waterproof wire connectors like those, and then we'll test it. All right, let's go test it immediately. See if it works. Zone number nine. Oh, well, there you go. Zone number nine is working again. Simple fix. Just had to figure out that the solenoid was bad, replace the solenoid. Now we're good to go. Just gonna go ahead and rinse off my hands. And now we're gonna go down there and look for those valves that are still missing, as I haven't gone down there yet. 